Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about acids and bases. So, um, what's an acid, what's a base? Well, let's talk a little bit about their properties and what they are. All right. So first off, acids and bases are both electrolytes, which means that they both disassociate in water to produce mobile ions, which can conduct electricity. Acids um, generally taste sour. Think about things like common acids that you might have encountered in the kitchen, like um, lemon juice or vinegar. They generally taste sour. Um, bases, on the other hand, tend to taste bitter. Um, if you ever had the unpleasant and sad experience of having your mouth washed out with soap by some elder in your family, um, you know bases taste bitter. Um, acids will generally turn red litmus paper red, well, sorry, will turn blue litmus paper red. Bases will generally turn red litmus paper blue. And that's something we're going to be talking about as we go forward. Um, acids will usually react with metals to produce hydrogen gas. All right, this is something that all acids have in common. And if you look at table J and find your hydrogen on table J, you have a pretty good idea already, that's our activity series, which metals will react with um, acids and which ones will not. Bases um, tend to feel slippery. If you get a base on your hand, it'll feel slick, like um, bleach, common household bleach, or detergents. Um, they feel quite slippery, and that's because they tend to have quite a strong base component. Acids include things like vinegar, milk, soda, apples, most citrus fruits, they're acidic. Things that are basic would include ammonia, lye, antacids, and baking soda. Those are all bases. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the pH scale briefly, and then we'll get more into it in our next video. So the pH scale generally shows how acidic or how basic a solution is. Our, uh, there's another word for basic, and that's alkaline, and we'll be using that quite a bit here. If you look at the pH scale as given, um, you have neutral, which is here at 7. And as we go further away from 7 towards 0, we become increasingly acid. And as we move away towards 7 toward 14, we become increasingly alkaline. So generally, this is our acid range, and this would be our base range. Let's look at that in a slightly different way. So here's a pH scale. Here we have our 7. That is basically neutral. And as we move down from 7, we become more acidic. And if you notice, we have um, hydrochloric acid down here. Um, sulfuric acid is in a battery, so that would also be acidic. Up here, we have sodium hydroxide. That is a common component in drain cleaner, and that's why our drain cleaner ended up here at the top of the board. So the further we move away from 7, the more acidic or basic or alkaline we become. So a pH of 14 would be the most alkali you can be. A pH of 0 would be the most acidic you can be. And a pH of 7 would be right in the middle. In our next video, we'll be getting more into the pH scale and exactly how it works.